Charlotte will take Barbara and I are going to hand out some certificates to these beautiful children who we are so, so proud of. For the past couple of months, we've been part of witness their journey on this really, really special, special journey. And we couldn't be proud of you standing here and watching you all sing that beautiful hymn. That's my heart is beaming. Absolutely wonderful. I've just got a few thank yous I'd just like to say before we do our um, wonderful um, final certificates, if that's okay. I think first of all, everybody, I would just like to say thank you to these children. As I've already mentioned, over the past few months and weeks, I've been really, really lucky to witness and to see them listen really carefully and have their eyes wide open and then, then to accept and to take on the challenge that is the next journey in their step of faith. And I know some of them from mums and dads what they've told me. Some of them have commented how just very special this moment has been and how they've grown, how they've seen that this next stage is helping them to become closer to Jesus. And as Father has mentioned, many times I've heard him mention, and even today in today's Mass, every time you come to Mass and you receive the Eucharist, you're meeting Jesus, you're becoming closer to him, and it really is just so wonderful. So thank you, children. You've really, really made us all proud. Thank you so much. I'd like to just say also thank you to mums and dads and family members. You were the first educators of your children, and if it wasn't for you, they wouldn't be standing here now with this wonderful thing happening to them, making that sacrament. So thank you so much. You know that it's a, a challenge. I'm a woman myself, and I know the challenges that parents go through, and I know the, the decisions that parents need to go through to help and support their children, but you've got them this far, so well done, and thank you so much. And it's so lovely to see so many of you here today. Thank you to Father Phil, so grateful Father. Um, I've been privy to a couple of the meetings that you've held with the children. Um, you know, many of you will know that Father has um, spent much of his own time as well. He's come over to school and to church on a Friday afternoon and we've been able to come over and listen to Father's real, genuine, authentic approach. And it's been wonderful. The children have learned something new. I've learned something new. I think that's what's the beauty about our faith. We never stop learning. Um, you know, I've learned lots of things from your father, and all the children have as well. I think one thing I know I remember, well, actually, I remember lots of things, but what about more, more teachers' party? You remember that one? You'll always keep that one with us, father. So thank you so much. Um, we've just um, the parents have very kindly just um, put together a collection for you, father, just as a, a way of saying thank you. So Lucy, would you like to go and get that now and have that over to father? We just give father a clap. Thank you. <laughs> teachers if you've taught any of these children. Yeah, we've got a few hands up here, so thank you. So your our re lessons, your liturgical prayer has got these children to this stage as well, so thank you so much. Thank you to Mrs. Campbell, our absolutely wonderful, amazing RE subject leader. Teachers, you know how hard she works. Parents, she works her socks off and she has helped to put this together today and we're very proud of you. Thank you, Mrs. Campbell, for that. Thank you, Mr. Aspin. Here he is with uh, his technical wizardry. He's helped us this morning with the, the lovely slides and things. He's taken photographs of the children today, and um, it, we're just very grateful for you as well, Mr. Aspin. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anne, for your music. She, she gone. Anyway, thank you, Anne, for the lovely music. Thank you, parishioners, for allowing us to use the church hall because we're having a very special breakfast at the time, which will be really exciting. And teaching assistants, thank you for helping to set the church hall up. And then finally, I'm just going to say a lovely thank you as well to all of you children, because for weeks and weeks now, we have been praying for these boys and girls, haven't we? In our liturgical prayer, every Monday morning, we have been putting our hands together and we've been praying for these children on their journeys. And I know I've set you a bit of a challenge, haven't I as well, because I've been asking you to do that in your own time. And I know you will have been doing that, because that has got them to this stage. Put your hand up if you've been inspired by these children and you're thinking, do you know what? I think I'll be very soon ready 
to make my first Holy Communion. Oh, isn't that wonderful and gorgeous? Thank you. So, boys and girls, we're just going to listen for a little bit longer, and Father and I are going to hand some of these certificates out. Oh, Father, if that's okay. <coughs> so, first of all, oh, if it's okay, we could give a lovely little clap after everyone has received their certificate, if that's okay, everybody. So, first of all, Ned, would you like to come out and receive your certificate?